हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन एंड टॉपिक नंबर फोर दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर ऑफ सब्जेक्ट साइंस टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर दिस इज द वेरी कॉमन आइटम दैट वी यूज टू सी इन अवर हाउस होल्ड अप्लायंस राइट दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर विच वी जनरली यूज टू किप टू ड्रेव वॉटर फ्रॉम सन टू लिफ्ट इट अप टू अवर वॉटर टैंक इज इट सो लेट इज नाउ अंडरस्टैंड लेट इज टॉक अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर basically it is very clear that this is the capacitor this side is a fan this is the main body of a motor so water will come inside this pump will just give it boost give it a force and it will come outside through this point output right so electrical motors are of two types ac motor and dc motor electrical motors are of two types AC motors and DC motors. Why these are the two types of the motor? Because there are two types of the supply. One is alternating current, and second one is the direct current. Right? We have already learned that in case of the alternating current, current will be positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on. We are getting actually 50 hertz supply in our house. Means there will be 50 positive cycle and 50 negative cycle. We will be getting one positive cycle in one by 50th. Her second means there is a frequency of 50 hertz means positive 50 part parts and or negative 50 parts right this is the way we are getting frequency so in case of the alternating cycles there will be positive and negative half cycles whereas in case of the dc there will be no change current will be constantly flowing only in one direction in case of the ac direction of the current will keep on changing so what is the dc motor dc motor is the device which converts the direct current into mechanical work means direct power into mechanical work if we would like to define simply motor then we may say a motor is a, an electric electro, electrical device it's an electromagnetic device which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy repeat what is the electrical motor electrical motor is an electromagnetic device or simply electric device which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy here we are talking about the dc motor so i have used the word dc motor otherwise in exam you will have to simply write an electrical motor is an electrical device or electromagnetic device which converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy so simply transformation of electrical energy comes transformation of electrical energy will take place into mechanical energy and it works on the principle which states that the current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field experiences a force actually this statement was given by the lorentz lorentz what did he say we had already seen the previous video in which we had suspended a current carrying conductor and we had kept a horseshoe magnet we found that whenever there is a suspended uh, current carrying conductor it definitely creates a magnetic field around it and when we bring another magnet a real magnet towards it what we do observe that it exerts a force it experiences a force which body is experiencing force both of them so which one is the lighter will move away right so this statement was given by the lorentz what did he say that the current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field experiences a force right now according to left hand rule if central finger represents current cc central finger represents current four finger this is the four finger or first finger first finger or four finger represents the field field of what magnetic field and if thumb m ma thumb ma m m represents the motion force then we may say that if these three fingers are placed perpendicular to each other if these three fingers are kept perpendicular to each other central finger represents current direction of the current passing in a conductor four finger or first finger represents the direction of magnetic field north to south right and then the force which will be experienced by this current carrying conductor will be given by this direction of thumb now let us try to understand that in a real way so 
see this is the motor this is the electrical diagram of a motor it is very clear that this is the north pole and this is the south pole so definitely the direction of the magnetic force direction of the magnetic lines of force will be from north to south direction will be from this north to south now so this is the direction of magnetic force so f f represents the direction of the magnetic field now let us talk about this conductor let us talk about the conductor which is near the south pole right if current is say passing in upward direction this direction because say this is the positive terminal of battery it will pass through a brush commutator and then it will flow like this so when current will start up in upward direction inside the paper inside the screen this way so if this is the direction of the field now what is the direction of the field direction of field that is first finger first finger north this side north and this side south the north south direction of the field central finger current is going inside the paper current is going inside the screen so inside towards you so if this represents central finger that is current that is going towards this direction feel this direction then that conductor will experience force in upward direction then this conductor will experience force in upward direction it is very clear you can see that yes it is experience it is experiencing force in the upward direction now let us talk about this conductor which is towards the north pole again this is the direction of field right north to south now current now the current is in this uh, towards the uh, this south pole it was in upward direction now it travels like this and the direction is changed the direction is coming out of the paper or coming out of the screen right like this see this is the direction of the current this is the upward direction then transfer direction then it will be coming out of the paper or coming out of the screen means towards out of the screen so four finger field is the same current is something like this current direction of field current is something like this right so now this motion will be represented by thumb like this so direction of movement of this conductor will be towards direct toward downward direction so if we now combine both this direction we can easily observe that the conductor towards the south pole will experience upward force and conductor towards the north pole will start facing downward force so what will happen this coil will try to rotate this coil will try to rotate and when it will rotate half away when it will rotate half away situation will again be reverse why because now the conductor which was getting current like this has been shifted towards the s pole so now it will start getting current in this direction so now it will start again getting this direction force right so in this way this coil will start rotating like this and why it is rotating because it is a current carrying conductor it is a current carrying coil placed in a magnetic field and according to lorentz law whenever there is a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field the current carrying conductor will experience a force and it will start moving in this case it will start rotating right and what do we observe we observe something like this that whenever there is a magnetic field whenever there is a current carrying conductor it will start rotating means electrical energy has been converted into mechanical energy and this is the way we can understand that you can see see this is the north pole and south pole so you can find out the direction with the help of the fleming's left hand rule right four finger field central finger current and motion right so you try now just pause the video stop the video and try to find out the direction i have kept it just opposite to what i had given example so that you can try by your own and we can verify the direction of movement of this 
करंट केयरिंग कंडक्टर और करंट केयरिंग कोयल जस्ट ट्राई टू डू दिस एग्जाम्पल बाय योर ऑन सो नाउ लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द कॉमर्शियल मोटर वॉट वी हैड लर्न सो फार इज देर ऑफ द आइडियल मोटर नाउ लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द कॉमर्शियल मोटर विच वी यूज टू सी इन अवर हॉम्स एक्चुअली इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट्स आर यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ परमानेंट मैग्नेट्स एक्चुअली वी हैड सीन दैट देर वेर परमानेंट मैग्नेट एन एन एस बट इन रियल प्रैक्टिस वी डोंट पुट permanent magnets then becomes very costly and wet very heavy in the nature so we you actually put electromagnets means electricity used to make the poles n and s and one more part of electricity will be used to rotate the uh, coil right to rotate the conductor large number of turns large numbers of the turns of the conducting wire in place of the current carrying coil instead of single turn we are keeping large number of turns why so that there will be huge number of huge amount of the force will be produced so that it will give more force so iron on which the coil is wound is known as the armature so what is armature armature is nothing but a soft iron core on which certain coils are wound and due to this soft iron core the power of the motor gets increased see this is the cut out section cut out sectional view of electrical motor you can very clearly see that this is the armature in which windings are kept this is the fan to keep the motor cool these are this and this they are the bearings on which this current carrying conductors will be rotating and what i was talking about the electromagnets yes these are the actually electromagnets actually they are poles current will be given to this and they will come poles and per, they will just be have like permanent magnets and under the effect of magnetism of these electromagnets this armature will start rotating and will be getting movement over this shaft and these are the pins to keep the motor cool and this is the foundation of a motor this is the another view of motor see we can easily find out bearing shaft then uh, these are the windings to make the electromagnets and armature armature actually it is um, bonded with the coils this is the third view of motor these are the side enclosures this one and this one left and right side uh, side enclosures certain holes are there for the ventilation of the air see these are the windings actually which are used for making the electromagnets n and s pole actually there will be numerous pole there won't be any and uh, only two poles but there will be more than two poles so that we get maximum rotation this is the armature in which we keep conductors conductors are actually uh, spread conductors are actually uh, passed in this armature and that experiences the force due to which they start moving for more such videos keep watching free education bank sir thank you very much for watching member i would like to remind you that you will have to watch this type of the videos for at least 2 to 3 times then only you will be able to understand the actual concept then only you will be able to actually understand and visualize the concept deep in your mind and then thereafter you won't forget throughout your life because these are the concept they are just like bicycling you will be not able to learn bicycle or swimming by just uh, somebody else advice you yourself will have to jump you yourself will have to ride the bicycle or swim then and only then you will be able to learn it so you for this type of the examples you will have to first visualize the same thing in your mind with the help of the left and right hand rule try to apply and then see then confirm whether you are getting the same direction or not thank you for watching